Okay, so today we're going to look at how to create a new project for YouTube, specifically using HitFilm Express. So the first thing you need to do is go to File and New for a new project, or you can click this new button up here. And here are the settings that you want, ideally. So you can see there's many templates here. You want to stay away from 720p HD, okay, that's old school YouTube. You want to stay away from the Instagram stuff. You want to head down here to 100 so 1080p full hd at 25 frames per second okay that is the pal standard you can change the duration there of your video but um it's not very intuitive sometimes but once you click into it that will work however you can edit that in the products itself so i wouldn't worry too much about that i leave that alone the width you definitely want um, to be 1920 pixels the height 1008 pixels this ensures that you've got the best quality video once you upload to youtube the frame rates at 25 as per the template and the aspect ratio is square pixels 1.0 okay so that is absolutely fine sample rate of 48,000 hertz and this should be a good setup for using um hit film express uh, on youtube for a YouTube video. So if we press OK now, it will load. HitFilm Express does require an awful lot of system resources, so it is gonna freak out a little bit on this computer now as it tries to create that new project. As we can see, the new project's created, but it's still doing stuff in the background now. And finally, once you get to this screen, your new project has created. And the first thing you need to do is import some of the video clips that you have recorded so if you go to file you will see that there is an import button and if you go to media you can then search your computer for files so if you go on and just pick a video file we'll take this one as an example some footage that we've used recently it will display here in the trimmer and you can press play so as you can see, the video is playing. Now there is an export panel, which you can drag. Oh, float panel. Float panel will make it easier. Um, and you can drag over to there. No, it's not wanting to play. It's not wanting to play ball at the moment. Okay, well, we can switch between it. That's okay. The interface can feel a little bit clunky at a time. Now, we've imported that into here now. And one of the common things when starting a project is... Um, you go to export now so say you've s stuck a few video clips together after importing them and you go to export and all of a sudden you cannot export okay one of the main things to remember when you create a new project on hitfilm express this is being displayed in what's called the trimmer here which you can use to trim down your video clips but once you are finished you need to make sure that you turn around and you grab so click on the video there and drag it down to this timeline here. So this is the first video. So we're going to butt it up against the corner there. So that's at the beginning of the video and drop it. If it pops up saying the other sequence differs to the clip you are adding, click yes. And that will update things for you automatically. And now, as you can see, we've got the video there on our timeline. We've got our video channel, our audio channel. And um, now... Another common thing when you're starting projects is, for example, and let's pick an effect here that we can really see. If you make a change, for example, so if we go on speed or duration, one of the weird things here, if you click into it, you can use up and down. What you can actually do, though, is you can, if we click off it, um, you can see it goes to side to side arrows here. You can use that by holding down the left mouse button to drag it. And one of the common things that happens in new projects is you s let's slow that down to 25%. It should be really obvious. Hit OK. Now let's go and hit play again. Take it back to the beginning and hit play. The dreadful weather we're having this evening and coming out to speak to us this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now what do you notice? Yes, it's not slowed down. But as you can see on the timeline, the video clip, which is 22 seconds, is now showing as a minute and two. The important thing to remember on a new project is the viewer tab up here. So it is hidden a bit by the trim, but on the viewer tab, the viewer tab is actually showing you, as you can see, that was the length we originally set. 
on our new project the viewer tab is what's actually going to show this so if we press play now on the viewer tab as you can see here this has been slowed down a lot now so much so we're going to pause that now so remember when you're on the trimmer tab you're not actually editing the video there you are actually previewing the exact media that you have put on in the first place so remember trimmer is for trimming the video it's where the import will go to first time after you've done file and import viewer is where you actually see what you are working with in the timeline and when you have previewed it in the viewer you left click to drag it onto the timeline so as an example we can put another one there if you want you can see how easy it is to join two videos together so if we go back to the viewer and we go to that point you can see that is massively slowed down as we set and it should go back to normal any second so you can see how easy it is there to combine clips and once you're ready you can export using the youtube 1080p hd preset okay so once you're done you can use that preset Okay, so they are the basics to get started with HitFilm Express. I hope that helps. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more HitFilm videos.